Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. I was recently asked, how do you sharpen or how do you put a primary bevel back onto a chisel if the tip has been damaged? So, have a look at this. You see all the chips out of it. Now you've got two options. You can grind it at the 25 degree bevel until you get down to the bottom. The problem with that is you're constantly dealing with just a wafer thin piece of metal and it's going to be easily burnt. I find the far better way is to set your tool rest tangent to the wheel and come in and just simply square that off and then once you've bunted it off go back to grinding. Let me show you. First of all let me explain the equipment. Bench grinder, nothing fancy. You can get a one with either 1725 or 3450 rpm. This is adjustable. I rarely ever change it. The most important part is the wheel and the tool rest. I'm using a CBN wheel that we now carry. It's an 80 grit. Cuts extremely fast and nice and cool. And this is a tool rest made by a company called One Way. We carry these as well because this will convert an inexpensive grinder into a great grinder. It's, it has a large surface that acts as a great heat sink. Easy to adjust. Attaches to the base, not the grinder, so it'll fit any grinder. And everything works on a cam, so it's easy to adjust. You'll see when we turn this around and set it up to the 25 degree. So what I'm going to do, and it's, this is a half inch chisel, so it's narrow enough I can do it by eye in terms of keeping it square. And I'll just come in there with light pressure and grind until I down below all of the uh, necks. Next to be square. Now what I'm going to do is set this for 25 degrees. Now the bevel that's already on there is 25, so I just have to copy that. If not, I can use a protractor and just do some guesswork. Some chisels have no taper in them, and that's easy to set up, but others do. So trying to use any kind of a jig to set this up to 25 is pretty difficult. It's really trial and error. Now. I'm going to try to get it so that the wheel is touching right in the middle since this has the original flat bevel from the manufacturer. Still needs to come up. Also want to keep that tool rest as close to the wheel as I can. Lots of support for the blade. Keep that still as yeah, touching just up there. So I just need to pull this back just a bit. All right, so now we're sitting right in the middle. So all I'll do is just move forward and back. And this is just a habit carryover from when I used to use regular grinding wheel. Regular grinding wheel, you had to dress it, true it, and you couldn't always get the face perfectly flat. So if you stayed in one spot, you may end up taking the unflat surface and transferring that onto the tool. So what I would do is just move it back and forth. Nice thing about this CBN wheel, they come already trued, flat. You don't have to dress them. And like I said, they cut extremely fast. However, you still want to be careful not to apply too much pressure. Now, I keep flipping it over and I can see I'm a little bit high on this side, which is now this side. So what I'll do is I'll just turn my, the handle falling off, turn my chisel a little bit. needs a bit more. That's, that's warm. I can just hold it right like that on the tool rest and that'll cool it down. Or you can have a, a uh, container of water to dip it. Pressure is probably the single biggest factor you have to be careful in. Too much pressure and it will overheat. Now I'm just going to keep on doing this until I bring that to a point and get rid of that flat. So I'll shut the camera down for a second, give me a chance to catch up, and I'll show you how we see. The important part of this is just to keep flipping it over and checking to make sure that that crest right there is square to the side. And if you want to, if you uh, are unsure whether or not you've got 25 degrees, just get a small protractor like that, put it in there, and check it against the 25 degree bevel, which is what I've got to set. And if it's off one or two degrees, no big deal. I'm almost finished with this. And this would complete what we call a primary bevel. From here, I would take it over to the stones. I use ceramic and I would create a secondary bevel on a thousand grit, and then a third bevel on the tertiary, uh, pardon me, a tertiary bevel, and I would do that on the 16,000. But the back still has to be drafted. You can still see the scratches from the right. 
but that's how you repair. Flame blade, same way. Get plug, uh, square it off first, and then just work to get it back to a point. Hope this helps. If you have questions, in the comments below, just ask them and we'll try to answer them for you. We'll try to do one of these each week. And don't forget to subscribe and push that bell thing so you know when we let our next one fly. <laughs> have a good day.